Here, back to another one. This time we got top 10 most anticipated new fall 2021 anime by Vinny2. Make sure y'all like the video, comment, subscribe. They got sponsorships. If y'all a sponsor out there, sponsor me. <laughs> I want some some free money. Shoot. We're less than Let's a month away from the oh next. Oh my gosh, why is this thing so loud? Anime season, so now's a good time to talk about what we've got lined up. I already have an idea what you guys are eagerly anticipating this upcoming season, but I hope that through this list, which has no sequels, I can introduce. And oh, I would goes. ask for your okay. help in increasing the channel's reach the and most subscriber trouble count. Today, you can do that by clicking the subscribe button, ringing the bell, and sharing the news of this channel with all of your friends. Now, let's get started. <laughs> Starting off the list is Sakugan. Okay. Far into the future, humanity has found itself doing what it does best in anime, being pushed aside and struggling to live in the harshest conditions. That's now, bad. residing in colonies within the underground world Labyrinth, humanity is adapted to the new life. Not so for our protagonist, though, the daughter of father duo of Memempu and Guggenbar. One day, they begin their perilous journey at the behest of Memempu with the end goal of finding her mother. Along the way, more rewards await as Guggenbar's map of the dangerous world outside could fetch an absurdly high price. But is this price worth the peril? What secrets and truths await at the duo at the end of it all? I've got to admit, I never read the source material for this one. However, what I can see from the previews is a fun, exciting adventure series full of thrills. Some have compared it to Fallout, and I think I'd have to agree. However, what I'm looking forward to the most in this series is the potential of seeing a budding development in the bond between father and daughter. Honestly, I, I more saw Gurren Lagann in it more than I saw uh, Fallout. <laughs> the Gurren Lagann with a father daughter instead of best friends who were they were simon and uh the other dude i forgot his name were they brothers they have the same hair color normally that means they're brothers but i'm pretty sure they're just friends either way number nine is the world's best assassin to reincarnate in a different world aristocrat being a hired gun is tough the world of assassins is a dangerous place, and I'm not just talking about the targets you set out to assassinate. You can't afford to even blink, for your greatest enemies can come from the closest places, and that's something that our protagonist here has to find out the hard way. However, he gets a second chance at life as Luge, and along with it comes a gargantuan task. He's got to eliminate a super powerful hero who has the potential to bring the end of the world. He may have been a proficient hero in his life on Earth, but how is he going to fare when an unwanted harem and magic get thrown into the equation? I really look forward to how the story is going to proceed from this point. I've always enjoyed assassin type protagonists and this show looks like it's something that most people would enjoy. It certainly isn't the most common reincarnation story and I think it's something that will satisfy that itch for a more unique premise in Isekai. It's something that people will probably enjoy. That's why I liked Fate Zero the most out of the face I've seen because the uh Carrie he was he was an assassin straight up. He he moved like an assassin, had heart heartlessness, kind of ruthlessness of getting shit done like an assassin like that's that's i messed with that i played all the assassin's creeds like i i like assassins in no time when talking assassins about vampires classroom, what comes to your mind pretty lit probably those unbelievable beautiful aristocrats or those nine invincible boss monsters that only come with a few weaknesses well Draluk is none of that. First of all, he's quite the bro, loving video games, and he's so hilariously weak that he dies to anything. That's certainly not what Ronaldo expected when he goes to Draluk's castle, hoping to rescue a supposedly kidnapped child. With his castle's destruction, Draluk moves into Ronaldo's office and hilarity ensues. However, it's not all fun and games though, as danger lurks in the shadows. How will the odd couple survive the onslaught of rogue vampires and investigators out to get them? Now, this is a series that I can definitely get behind. I've seen quite a number of vampire animals Anime, but never have I seen anything this casual and light-hearted. Blood Lad probably, but most of the vampire shows I've watched all held their kind to some sort of reverence. This, however, feels like a complete comedy that I feel will come with some serious dramatic moments and unexpectedly good action. I'm, I'm just going to be adding to my va my uh, vampire list, Next my anime up, list we have right Baisho now. Show Maiden Fairy Tale. And that one, I'm definitely vampire dies in the vampire dies in no time. I'm adding that, and I'm adding what was that? Uh, Blood Lad. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely adding both of those. Probably, but most of the vampire shows I've watched all held their kind to some sort of reverence. This, however, feels like a complete comedy that I feel will come with some serious dramatic moments and unexpectedly good action. Next up, we have Taisho Maiden Fairy Tale. Oh, 
Tamahiko Shima could have had the world. Being born into a wealthy family, he could have had the world at his fingertips. That never made him happy, not with such a neglectful family that never gave him the love he desired. Not helping matters is his handicap, which made his father cast him out into isolation. Before the wheels can fully fall off, salvation comes in the form of Yuzuki, a girl claiming to have been sent to be his wife. With their help, Tamahiko starts his road to recovery, finding new meaning in what is a desolate life. Now, with love in the air, how will the two stories intertwine and cure Tamahiko of his emotional scars? Some major Tony Kawa feels anyone. I feel this is one of the comfy Your anime of the season. Pretty. And while I'm not sure if healing anime is the right term for it, it probably comes with a lot of scenes that will tug at your heartstrings. I've yet to read the source material, but I can already see the feels and cute romantic moments coming from the premise alone. Probably a show I'll recommend for those who want to unwind. Okay. None too like interesting yet. Talk about something fitting for the Halloween season. Meruko-chan is the story of Miko, someone who seems to be your typical high school student. One problem is though, she suddenly starts seeing gruesome monsters all over the place. However, she's no Ichigo, and she proceeds to carry on her everyday life, trying her best to ignore all these horrors that surround her. Of course, that's a task easier said than done, isn't it? Especially if you start seeing your friend Hana get in the line of danger. It really begs the question, how much longer can she attempt to ignore the events that are happening around her? Meruko-chan, from what I've read in the manga, is a mostly episodic series focusing on Miko's misadventures as she tries to cope with the supernatural. What's unique about the series is that mm -hmm. this isn't your typical girl learns to fight monsters fair and leans more on the black comedy aspects of it. I also like how the story eventually gets very interesting with its slew of characters and plot progression. If you're up for some casual spooks, you should definitely put this one on your watch list. Before I mean, I'm not on, too into the question. horror like genre. But, shoot, I'm I'm, I'm kind of interested in that one. That was kind of interesting. Was that my hero? By changing your oh. I gotta, list I gotta catch back up. Destiny. I stopped the after Video game tie-ins can be hit or miss. However, I want to stay on the optimistic course and say that while we've had mediocre tie-ins like Gunslinger, Stratos, or God Eater, recent video game tie-ins like the two God Eater is a Band video Dream game? Seasons or Princess Anime? Connect Ooh. have been pretty good, actually. Tacked Up Destiny looks to continue the trend as it takes us to a dystopian society ruled by creatures called the D2. Seemingly invincible, these alien invaders have one glaring weakness, music. Thankfully, a light of hope shines in the world in the form of the conductor and his allies, the music-wielding music art. Is it me, or can I feel some of Vivi's imprints somewhere in this series? While well, catching up to the former's excellence is a long and difficult task, Tacked Up Destiny seems to be a show that's in good hands. With Muffa and Madhouse teaming up for this one, this seems to be one of the fun, non-stop action series that has its fair share of fights and attractive girls that will undoubtedly charm any viewer. Let's see if the Tacked Up franchise gets the opener that it deserves with this anime. It looks pretty, but the whole concept the of music is, is kind of like, what? <laughs> Using music to fight? The city of the dead. Raised by the undead, he's left with only vague memories of the past. Looking for a purpose and soon taking the mantle of an aspiring paladin, he soon departs with the pressing question about his true identity. The faraway paladin is this season's most anticipated isekai and for good reason too. People have lauded so its excellence isekai. in characterization, but I think that what interests me more is the world. I personally have grown quite weary of high fantasy settings that are so prominent in the genre, but with what I've seen so far, the world and the mysteries of faraway paladin have captivated me. I want to know more. And the author seems to have weaved together a very interesting universe in which to set the epic journey in. It's the most anticipated new isekai this fall. And I squarely fall within the group of people eagerly wanting to experience William Merryblood's journey of self-discovery. Kicking off our top three now, we okay. have the psychological thriller Platinum End. <laughs> I mean, that last one was kind of cool. I, I'm not, I'm not shitting on that one. That was pretty cool. Even if it's an isekai and there's like 10,000 isekai. Are back once again with a title that seems to return the I gotta finish uh, the time of guy reincarnating to a slime before I can start a new isekai though. Like, I'm not gonna learn a whole new, whole new world's rules and everything. And like, then go back to slime and then be confused. Be like, wait, I thought this meant this. And then like, like, no, no, that didn't mean that ever. And it's like, oh, that's the other anime. So I'm not doing that. I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> One isekai at a time. And then once that that's done or like on, on hiatus or whatever, um, then I'll start a new isekai. Hopefully one that's short enough to where I can finish it before the other one comes back. 
So yeah. You to their roots, to the title that put them on the map, Death Note. Platinum N tells the story of Mirai, a gloomy boy who, fed up with his life, attempts suicide. It wouldn't come to pass as he gets saved by a guardian angel introducing herself as Nase. Instead of letting him die, Nase grants him supernatural powers and a new calling in life, finding and defeating 12 other candidates in a battle royale to determine the next god of the world. He's given 999 days to do it, and he has to put out everything in that arsenal of his to survive this battle royale for the ages. This looks to be a more action-centric series, something that we've yet to see this duo in. I'm excited to see how it's going to go, having read the first parts of the manga. I wonder if the duo will strike gold again right after Barkleman and Death Note, and that's got me very excited to see how this adaptation's going to turn out. Bro, every time I see a Battle Royale anime, it's disappointing. Like, it could be so good and disappointing. The best one I've seen was Zodiac War, and it the ending was so disappointing. Like, it ruined the whole thing for me. Just, if y'all if y'all haven't seen Zodiac War, it's it's worth a watch, but be prepared to be disappointed by the ending. Maybe it was disappointing to me. I don't know if y'all gonna be disappointed, but I was disappointed. I was hella disappointed. Second place on the list is Blue Period. Juni Tyson, that's what it's called. Juni Tyson Zodiac War. I don't know if Zodiac War is just the name or the translation. I never looked it up. Oh. Life can be boring and repetitive, right? Especially these days, there seems to be the creeping feeling that we just go through the motion, drone mm -hmm. on, and just drag ourselves through this long marathon called life. Don't mm -hmm. you wish to do something just a bit more exciting and meaningful? Those are the sentiments held by Yatora. Luckily for him, he soon learns about the joy of drawing. Picking up his brush, he starts conveying his feelings, not through words, but by drawing. However, the world of art isn't an easy one. With challenges and multiple obstacles standing in his way, his love for the craft and his determination will be tested. Blue Period seems to be one of the more serious new anime we've coming this new season, and I'm really looking forward to it. Being a frustrated artist myself, it's something that I can actually relate to, and I'm sure that a lot of you do as well. Whether you're the type who's into art or not, you'll definitely find something to pick up from this title. Bro, I can't The most draw anticipated new anime for this season Komi is none other than Gomi-san Can't Communicate. Oh boy, I remember when this anime first got announced, my social media news feed simply just blew up in anticipation. Can just take a At silent last, voice and just turn it into a... Will be getting its anime adaptation. <laughs> oh it's been gosh, a oh what the... It's a what was that? Deserved adaptation of that? The show's premise is very, very simple. We have Ooh. the titular Gomi-san, idol of the entire Ethan private high school, long admired for her beauty. However, there's one problem. She's absolutely terrible at communicating with others. Oh, also, so she can. Another problem she just indirectly doesn't. related to her is that she turns her seatmate into the enemy of the jealous class, as Tardano would find out. An event leads Tardano to find out Gomi's secret, and seeing as she has no other friends, he resolves to help her make a hundred friends in order to help her overcome her issues. The hype is real for Gomi san, and I can't wait to finally okay. see one of my favorite rom coms. I was in definitely anime. wrong about that silent voice. If you're thing. just excited as I am to see Gomi san finally animated, don't forget to tell me in the comment section below well with the list being done that was that was that's pretty cool uh did they put all the the numbers of the the comment section i love when they do that there we go yeah yeah all right so comey can't communicate that actually seemed pretty pretty cool concept and then the characters all seem kind of wacky and different so like I, i'm i'm you know i'm gonna put that on the list uh, blue period. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna put that on the list. I, I don't even. I don't even mess with like artists. Not artists, like in general. But I'm talking about like with like drawing, art, whatever. I'm more into like words, wordplay, word like wordsmithing. That's art to me. Um, I write music. I don't make music. I just write it. <laughs> it. It doesn't see the light of day, but I just enjoy writing it. It's good. Um, platinum end. Uh, what? Which one was platinum end again? Of discovery. Oh, oh yeah, that was a cool one. Yeah, that was. Wait, no, that's not Platinum Man. That's the one before. Kicking off our top three now, we have the psychological. Oh, oh, the Battle Royale. No, no, I'm good on that. <laughs> the Fairway Paladin. Platinum that was the. Egg. That was the. Oh, the undead raising him. That sound. That sounded cool as hell. Uh, Tact OP Destiny. That that was the video game one. I I don't know about that one. I'll be honest with you. You know, Madhouse though. Hmm. It did look pretty. I just. I don't. I don't know about it. And the other five, don't even, don't even talk to me about it. Unless it's the vampire dies in no time, don't you talk to me about the other five. I'm not even, 
I'm not even okay four because I'm not even watching these. I'm be honest with you, I'm, except for this one. I'm watch that. It already added to my list. But uh, yeah, let me know which ones you guys gonna watch. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.